welcome back after a break we're back out again for another belting mooch we've got a good one for tonight we are camping under the M6 mate with our Paul Paul Winston the outdoors so we've got a short walk to this uh, been one that's been on the back burner for a while so this should be a good night I'll be back with you once we uh, we get under the M6 Right, so I did say that we're uh, camping under the M6 so some of you probably already guessed now that we mean we're on, under a bridge I'll just show you where we are and that above us that is the M6 And we're spanning a valley uh, in Gathus. I think it's called Gathus Viaduct, this uh, actual bridge. We've got a little bit of uh, information off Wikipedia about it. I'll, uh, I'll fill you in on that later. So I think we're at the spot now where we are going to camp. But we're just going to take a look around. We're here early. Been ages. I was probably a kid last time I came here, so I couldn't remember exactly how it was going to be. It may have changed. But because uh, we're underneath this bridge as well, despite all the rain that we've had, it's nice and dry under here, and it will be if it does rain overnight. But that's not forecast. Yeah, it is an horse field, horsey field. This. Uh, right, so we've got some railings uh, stopping you from getting right up onto the bridge itself. We will have a quick look up there later. I think there's a scramble up, see if we can get to the side of that fence. That's what I'm thinking in a bit. That's, that's where I was hoping, right up underneath. Yeah, place. right up underneath it. Yeah. We're on a nice flat concrete platform there, aren't we? But if not, nobody's going to be riding their horses between now and 7 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock in the morning. We'll just get under here. Yeah. So, uniquely as well here, we've got three methods of uh, travel. So we've got the road above us, you see the, we've got the train, and then that bridge, that tra uh, train bridge there, that train bridge is spanning River Douglas and the Leeds-Liverpool Canal. Got just, just in them fields there is the Gathurst. Lockkeepers' cottages. Yeah. As I said, this has been on the back burner for a bit, so we're going to do it now because it's uh, it's virtually on the doorstep. Nice short walk, only 10-15 minute drive if that to it. Fantastic. Right, we're going to have a a scout about and then we'll be back with you when we something happens. Oh, here comes our pal. We've got up to that fence there, which is understandably high. You know, people climbing over this bridge. So we're probably not going to be able to get under here. While we're here, we'll have a look at it. I mean, there is a there is a maintenance route here, and it's kind of dangerous. You see, to M6 there, aren't you? Don't uh, be bobbing yourself into the up there. But that is understandably locked, and uh, we're not going to even attempt climbing over that, even though we've got that. We're not going to get over it with bags anyway. Yeah.
do is they take the stuff back from it. See that? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, so that literally there, that is the M6 up there. We're going to keep out of view why it's uh, during the daylight hours. We might come back. Well, uh, going back and going to yeah, yeah. <coughs> right, we'll get back down to our bags. Right, we will have a look right to the side, just out of curiosity. I suppose as many of you watching this video may have driven over this uh, viaduct and wonders what it is like underneath so you're going to get to see today a bit more overgrown on this side so a little bit more treacherous Yeah, you're not you're not gonna get in that side either. And even if we did, we still wouldn't be on the concrete bit, we still have another another barrier in front of us. Right, so uh, we're gonna camp down there underneath the uh, the pillars. Back with you when we get down from here. So this this field actually is what I think people uh, the horses use, and uh, we're going to be away early in the morning before any of those are out. So we're hoping to be packed up around seven, back home, tucked up in bed. Before anybody knows we've even been here. So, won't need a tarp, just sleeping bag, mats, sleeping bag on ground, simple as that. Don't know if we're going to get any clearish skies, but I will, uh, I'll probably set, in fact, just behind me there, I may set a time lapse up on the uh, tripod for later. Work that into the video at some point, and then tomorrow, probably on the way back, we'll just bring you some footage of this, uh, these tracks, and the River Douglas in the canal behind us. But I'm going to get a quick brew night. See you in a bit. half hour. It's do that really quick this time of year in the UK. Not uh, having any big gourmet meals this time. this time. I've got some dehydrated stuff and uh, our Paul's got some fish fingers, some steaks, got a few drinks, not loads, not going daft tonight. Uh, as I said earlier, this is a field that people use for riding horses so we're going to get away around seven o'clock just as it's coming daylight in the morning and uh, if 
backbone before anybody even knows we've been here. Right, I'll just get a shot of what we've got for tonight before we lose the light. So, I've got some of them Heineken Zeros. Dilute these down a bit. A couple of uh, IPAs. Guinness. Cold brew. Coffee beer. No, not had one of them before. All right, this is good. And then a couple of cans of bitter. No whiskies tonight. Flapjacks. Noodles. A couple of bags of crisp. And I've got a couple of pot noodles as well, so. Right, seems like we've been here forever, it's only two hours, so I think we're going to get a brew going and we're just going to crack on with eating and stuff. It's going to be a shock to the system tonight because it's been two months I think since the last wild camp, so probably overnight temperatures 12-15 degrees then in September tonight about 7, so it's going to feel quite cold. So we'll have a brew, get some more food, and then uh, I think we're going to start on the cans and just get in the sleeping bags earlier. Right, the temperature's dropping pretty quick here now. Uh, not been used to this cold temperature for a while. So we've just had a pot noodle and we've both got a flask piece so just boiling some water now filling the flask back up so that's got us okay for brews for the rest of the night uh, so one flask is full of hot water now we just got another litre of water boiling for the other one Paul's getting some uh, kindling broken up for later got a couple of fire logs with us and then there's plenty of wood here, but we're only going to have a small fire. We've got a few bits, just burn that. Just enough to keep warm. Giving. We're going to wait till half seven, it's not quite there yet, but uh, we'll let this fire log now get a bit of warmth off it. God, they've shrunk, can't they? There's more yeah, mainly paper, better. isn't it? Yeah. Let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, the next 10 minutes of editor. That's too cold nicely. And now uh, we're getting some warmth. I can enjoy this uh, crimson tide. As I said, from description, it sounds like a hobgoblin river. Let's see. Yeah. Quite nice, quite hoppy. It says fruity, but not really getting much fruit in the side of it. But. Being in bar uh, warm bargains. Not dear as well. Crimson Tide. Have you seen this one? If you haven't seen it, I can see it. I walked right through drive through and there was like loads of cars there and I came in the other side the old J loves yeah I haven't had a post from the other jacket on this jacket from Hardland
Okay, so maybe the last or maybe one more drink left. Uh, not had this one before. Guinness Cold Brew Coffee Beer. I'm gonna give that a try. I'm gonna stack that fire up a bit now. We're gonna get a nice bed of embers and get some uh, fish fingers and some steaks cooked on it. Right, I'm gonna let that die down and then get some cooking going. Getting ready to cook some food and we're going to do the fish fingers first. <clears throat> there you go, they'll start sizzling soon. Just gone seven o'clock now, so we're gonna get away pretty sharpish. Everything packed up. We're gonna have a brew first, a little bit of uh, something to eat, and then uh, get out of here before it comes proper full daylight. so long before it comes fully daylight now. So, not the best night's sleep under here with all that noise. You can hear the motorway's pretty busy now. Right, so that's the way now from this site and that's where it was last night under the so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time we're out for another belting mooch